Now, what is a simplification item catalog? Simplification item catalog is all the simplifications in the form of a, a web browser where you would be able to put, okay, I'm into the logistics area within the logistics area. Tell me what are the things uh, uh, SAP ha is having an impact compared to ECC. So comparison to ECC, what are the impact are there? You can check it from the simplification item catalog. Earlier, the simplification item catalog was not available. SAP was having SAP note from where we were used to go and download the Excel sheet. Download all the simplification in Excel sheet and we can easily filter. Ki bhaiya, I am responsible for production, production planning. In production planning, what are the impact areas are there so that I can check it quickly filter from Excel. That SAP has stopped and now SAP has come up with the simplification item catalog. Let's see what is uh, what, how you can see the things under the simplification item catalog. Agree and proceed. Okay, boss, I agree and I proceed. So you can say in S4 HANA 2022 system, so 2020, uh, 2021, 22 systems are there. It depends on which system you want to go. From 1709, they have given this list. So I'm going with 2022 system because I am going in 2022, right? So what is your source product? So you can check whether you are checking an impact because of CRM systems. You are checking an impact because of ERP system, which enhancement pack you are having because of which you are checking it. So you would be able to filter more easily, okay? Your target system is S4 HANA 2022 system. Target validity stack is uh, initial shipment stack. And uh, then here you can put the uh, uh, your business area. So let's say I want to check in procurement. So you can see in the sourcing and procurement, I am able to see that what are the changes are there. Okay, so MDM catalog, uh, ERP uh, shopping cart related changes are there. Co-deploy of SAP SRM is having an issue. Ariba network integration would be having an issue. So uh, uh, changes are there. So you can see that these are the changes. Now, if you want to see the changes into the, let's say, master data, human resources there, manufacturing is there. One thing which we have responded to SAP to provide a drill down here so that we can go into the drill down, particular drill down. <clears throat> so you can further uh, uh, you can further filter out the information that what functionalities has been deprecated. Okay. What functionality would not be available? Okay. And what functionalities are still there, but not strategic, no more any strategic is there. SAP is not doing any. Uh, upgrade for them so or what functionality is completely unavailable okay completely un unavailable with the uh, alternate exist in the roadmap right now it does not exist completely unavailable but with alternatives exist that kind of things you can check it from here so because that of my filter is not working let me check put a filter for sales and show you what kind of things would be related to the sales changes these changes which we will be seeing here, Didi, is relevant to ECC, not the last version changes. I will also let you know if you want to check from the last version to this version, what is the changes? That is comparison between two SAP S4 HANA system. That also you can change. But right now the changes we are seeing here is <clears throat> between the ECC to S4 HANA. So you can see here, if you check it here from SAP S4 HANA 2020, if I put my source as SAP S4 HANA 2021, and if I put the target uh, uh, validity is SAP S4 HANA 2022, now system should tell us that from 2021 to 2022, what other things has been changed. It would not be that big list, but uh, system would be able to tell that what is the impact between 2021 and 2022. Okay, so this list you see here now is the list which will be coming, which is the difference between 2021 and 2022 system. I'm not sure that whether this filter is working properly or not, so I cannot say the results shown correctly or not, but it is supposed to tell you the between source and the target 
what are the things which has been changed okay let me go back to the ecc only because we are more interested in ecc difference erp 6.0 enhancement pack 6 and s for 120 now here also what i want to show you that any one of them you see here which system shows you the simplification here at the down okay you would be having SAP nodes. Are you able to see on the right hand side? There are the SAP nodes available. So every line item is supported by SAP node, which would be giving you the detailed information about that particular thing, that what kind of changes has happened in that particular area. Okay, so if you will be clicking on any of these uh, line items, let's say this is the manufacturing in production planning, scheduling uh, beyond 242048 there is some change okay you would be clicking on this note system will directly take you to the sap note that what is that sap note and that note would be talk talking about that what kind of change is there and if you are impacted with this change what kind of things you can do it okay that is the one sap note which will be giving you the information these SAP notes, most of the SAP notes would not be the implemented SAP notes which you will be giving to your basis team. Ki bhaiya, get this implemented. No, these are the information SAP notes which would be telling about that what process steps you need to do, what kind of configurations you need to do it. If you click here in this line item, system will also tell you that if you need to check in your system that whether you are impacted or not. So this is a change. But in your system, you are impacted or not. That is the biggest thing you need to understand, right? So if you want to check this, so system would be also tell, telling you that what is the checking rule, okay? So basically system is checking or you can also manually check in, in your KBED table. If the selected count is more than 100, then system select that. System say that you are impacted with this simplification line item, okay? And this impact started coming from SAP S4 HANA 2021. Before that uh, 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 version, which is earlier to that, this impact would not be there. So this impact is type of custom code check. We are on this particular object in the production planning, in the scheduling. If there is some custom code is done, done, that impact we need to check it, that what kind of custom program has been written. And we need to make sure that we adopt to this custom code. Okay, and how we would be doing that, this note would be supporting us. Now, here also it's a problem that you are jumping into your PP area, manufacturing area, then you would be finding it out that whether you are impacted or not, and then you would be going into this uh, uh, KBED table and checking boss whether the impact is there or not. That is too cumbersome process, right? Now, uh, SAP has done the changes. That's fine. I'm a business. I want to move ahead, right? So what I am interested is, boss, in my system, you tell me what I need to do. You have done 500, 600, 700 changes, but I am not using those functionality. For me, only 20 changes would be impacted. You just quickly tell me which 20 area is my business is having impact so that I check those 20 SAP nodes rather than checking 600 SAP nodes. Right, and you check in my system and you tell me. So these tools which I have shown you, these tools you can use for as a consultant perspective when you are preparing something and you don't have access to system and you want to check, okay, in 2021, 2022 system, in particular one area, <clears throat> what is impact? In general, if you want to check it, we use this. But neither this catalog nor the PDF we use in the projects. In projects, we use another tools. Which tool we use in the project? In project, we use the pre-check program. Okay. In projects, we use the pre-check program. 